this atmosphere today? Yeah, it was lots of fun. Obviously, great coming out here every year, and uh, I mean, having good team building and seeing our fans over here, so it was a blast. What did you guys get up to yesterday? Uh, we played some golf and had a nice dinner and hung out with the guys. I think it was, uh, it was a great uh, thing to get to know the new guys and everything. Who was in your group, your golf group? Uh, it was me, Revo, uh, Bobby, and Camper. We uh, nine under. Yeah. Not close enough, but almost. What's Revo like on the uh, golf course? Uh, he crushes the ball. Ask him about his game. Don't, don't ask me. I'm not going to say anything. What stands out about his personality? Yeah, I'll always uh, talk, and I mean, he's such a nice guy. Uh, talk to him about anything, and uh, I mean, Obviously, what he does on the ice for for the guys too. I mean, just a great uh, teammate. Did you guys uh, do anything for Tio's birthday? Yeah, we had a birthday cake for him. Uh, actually, driving up here after the game, we had a saying happy birthday for him on the bus, and then uh, and then we had the cake yesterday too. It's nice. Can you imagine playing till you're 40? Oh, that's pretty incredible. I mean, that's uh, it's amazing, and I mean, just everything that he comes with every day. Uh, I mean, is uh, is incredible, and a lot of us uh, can learn from him. How are things going? I know you went there in practice today, but center, how you felt in camp uh, at center? Yeah, I felt great. Look, I'm ready to play wherever uh, wherever, Sh wherever Sheldon wants me to play. So uh, I'm just getting ready to be the best uh, this season. Do you like a uh, chance to, like, in a practice like this, get the reps on the wing, or is that just kind of like you have Oh, wing is wing is, uh, wing is wing. I played there, like, all my time in the NHL, so it's all good. Yeah, and Domi, yeah. the chemistry is coming along, you feel? Like, how has that continued to develop? Yeah, I think we're clicking and we're finding each other out there, and I mean, uh, It'll be good to get another game in together when that is. I don't know, but we'll see. I think it's been growing every game and every practice we've been together. Did he tell you you're sitting in his dad's old spot in the room? Oh, no, I didn't know that. Yeah, he told I'll just talk to him about that. Sure. Thank you, guys. Oh, oh, sorry. What are your impressions of Fraser Mitten? Oh, yeah, he's he's amazing. He's been great this camp. And I mean, the speed he has in the middle and strong in the puck winning battles. I think he's very mature, too, for such a young guy. How close do you think he is to being ready for this level? I mean, look, I, I, he's had a great camp. I mean, we got a great team, so uh, it's hard to say exactly yeah. when. But uh, I mean, he's been uh, he's been incredible this camp. Third year now that you've come to Gravenhurst for uh, got away before the season starts. How do you how have you been enjoying it? Yeah, I mean, just like I said before, I mean, hanging out with the guys and getting to know the new guys and having fun together. I think it's uh, been a great uh, team building trip. Oh, it's nice. Uh, uh, nice gesture by the boys for sure, and. Uh, it was good. It's been a good time. It was perfect, uh, perfect couple days for the guys to get together and uh, spend some time, get some golfing, and uh, now we're ready for the obviously uh, last week of uh, preseason to get get ready. Mm -hmm. Who do you group uh, golf with yesterday? I was with uh, Matthews, Nyes, and Robertson. So it was good. It was a good group. How do they divide up the groups? You guys choose yourself, or is it? No, we're we're put into groups. I don't know how they and do it, after, but. Right? Uh, no, there's. Uh, I, we didn't play handicaps yesterday, so we were just uh, divided. I don't know how they decided that, but it was. Uh, I think they, they just try and mix it up, um, and yeah, for for whatever reason, and it's it works so well. It usually, usually you end up uh, you know spending some some good time with guys that you know. In my case, uh, you know, getting Robbie and Nisey, the the young guys around, and uh, getting to spend some time with them is good. What did you learn about Nice? Oh, he's got a powerful golf swing, like a full power swing. Um, I don't know if I can pull that one off for 18 holes. I mean, that would be tough on the uh, tough on the body to get into that squad every every hole. But uh, when he hits that ball, it can go a long way for sure. You mentioned that 40 was you wanted to you know play till 40. When did you start having that thought in your mind? Like when did that become a goal for you? Oh, like a long like when you're younger, you think about it, right? Like when you start turning 30, 30, get into your early 30s, you're like, oh, it'd be kind of nice. But it seems like it's uh, seems like it's a long way away, and then bang, all of a sudden it's here. So uh, um, no, I, I feel good. I feel like uh, just trying to work on again doing things to keep myself. Uh, relevant out there and in the game and uh, and then uh, go from there but I feel good so um, happy to make it this far and keep going. The arc of a career is kind of interesting because when you're a young player you're fighting for a spot. Do you feel now even with 20 years experience or whatever it is you feel like you're fighting for a spot like you've got to compete? To well yeah spot? yeah you always you should feel like that as you get especially as you get older in the games uh, you know there's more and more young guys coming in who are uh, looking for spots you gotta you gotta always compete for a spot whether it be uh, looking for more ice time when you're in the lineup or, or just uh, like you said making sure you're in the lineup all the time so um, you never want to let that go and uh, and yeah I mean even 
I mean, there are certain situations, obviously, <laughs> where guys are going to be in all the time. But uh, throughout your career, I think that's a good mentality to have. When you say relevant, what do you mean by that? Just like positioning, no, more offense stuff? Yeah, more <laughs> of a joke. But uh, <laughs> um, no, just ways to like contribute and help the team win. Make sure you, you keep doing that. So if you're not playing certain roles that I played before, like I, I used to be a you know a power play guy who played big big minutes. Now I'm more of a, I think I look at myself more as a good PKer. Make sure you're really good on the PK and uh, contribute. Uh, you know, offensively when you can, move the puck to the forwards well, but like you always have to be adapting to what role you're playing in, is that's what I meant. Tim Timothy's looked pretty good this camp. Where do you see the next step in his evolution? Well, he's, yeah, I think he's, every year that I've been here for sure, he's just getting better and better. It seems like he gets better and better all the time. So, I mean, for him, it's just continuing to put the way he puts in the work. He's got all the tools. I mean, he's, you know, what he has is, uh, He's he's already has that solid defensive game as like his his base I feel like and he skates well he moves well he shoots the puck well so I think offensively uh, you're just gonna see him keep getting better and better but uh, I think you know he's so reliable in the D zone already it's it's a huge plus for him. Can you put yourself uh, in the shoes of all these kids that are out here and kind of what it means to them to have, to have you guys? Yeah, I, I mean it's it's a cool day, right? They get to. Uh, see a live NHL practice I think it's uh, I just think back I think when I was a kid I got to go down to the gardens one time and watch the guys practice I think it was a pregame skate or something and uh, you just remember it you remember I re still remember it like it was you know not too long ago so it's a cool experience get to see the speed and you get to you know maybe get some autographs and interact with the guys closer than you normally would so I, I'm sure it's a uh, it's a really fun day what's it like uh, practicing this atmosphere today yeah it's fun it's uh you know, a lot of kids out there obviously having a good time. Maybe don't get an op opportunity to see an NHL team practice. So uh, it was a lot of energy. It was a lot of high-pitched screaming out there, but it was uh, it was fun. What was the highlight of yesterday's team bonding for you? Not the golf, I'll tell you that much. I was so bad yesterday. I probably played the worst round of my life, which I let my team down. So I'd like to formally apologize to them, first of all. <laughs> um, but just kind of you know hanging out with everybody, getting on the golf course. Uh, we had a nice big cabin, so we... Uh, played a couple board games after, and um, yeah, I just had a good time. Which board games? Derby days. Oh, I don't know. It's horse racing, basically. Okay. It's, it's electric. You should. Uh, <laughs> it's fun. Yeah. I guess you were uh, in Williams' group uh, for golf. But what have yeah. you learned about him? Nice golfer. Yeah. Yeah, and, I, and I'd like to, you know, especially apologize to him. I, really, I was riding with him, and I, I let him down. So, uh, no, he's he's a good golfer. Uh, Bobby's a really good golfer. Camper doesn't golf at all. So um, it was basically two people in our group that was. Doing well. Which group won? Uh, I think Cliffy's group, but there's been some uh, there's been some talk of some shadiness going on over the last couple of years with that group. So we'll see. I you know what, I I might I might back to it. I, I didn't really turn around to look, so I just know it was him. I understand you guys saying uh, to you happy birthday on the way. We out. did, yeah. What's, what's that like? What was that moment like? Well, it's cool. It's cool to see uh, somebody older than me, for sure, uh, still in the league. And, uh, you know, it's great seeing a guy that, uh, um, you know, a leader like him and a guy who's had a career like him that's uh, still grinding out at 40. It's, uh, yeah, it's cool to see, and it, it gives me hope, for sure. Yeah, What's the difference you... with, a, a, if you remember your youth, you're trying to make a team, and then now at, at an older age trying to make a team or holding on to a spot? What's, what's the difference mentality-wise at a camp? Uh, I think uh, back then I was trying to steal people's jobs and now people are for sure trying to steal my job so I'm trying to hold on to it I'm trying to prove that I belong still and uh, you know I can still play um, but you know that that's the business I think as you get older there's always younger guys that make less than you that are that are coming up trying to take your job so you know it's on me to make sure that I prove I should should be here is there anything different that stands out to you about this leaps camp compared to other teams camps that you've gone through that's hard it's harder. It's hard, yeah. yeah. I don't know if it's my old age, but uh, no, we, we work, and uh, I think that's why this team is so good. You know, they work hard and um, very sticky on, on systems, which is you know very, very crucial at this time of year when you got new guys. you got to really hammer away those things. So, um, yeah, no, it's, been a, it's been a good camp. It's been hard, but it's been good. What stands out about Sheldon's system? Uh, Nothing, nothing out of the ordinary, really. Um, he just he, he harps on the system and he, he makes sure the details is down. He's a very detail-oriented coach, which uh, I don't mind at all. Uh, yeah, you, 
you need to be detail oriented to win. Sheldon, I know you had a lot of folks on the ice today, but what went into I guess putting John and William back together at least for the line? It was really just about getting Fraser Minton in the mix. Uh, so yeah, wanted, wanted to get Minton in and uh, still maintain John and Austin and, and David Kampf. Uh, so it's a good way to do that uh, today. So not a reflection of Willie at all. It's more we, we need to make a decision on Fraser, obviously. So we need to get him in a position uh, to play with the group. So, so do you think he has a chance to make the team? He's still here. Everybody that's here has a chance to make the team. What are you looking at with him? Uh, what will you be keeping an eye on in these last few days of camp when you make that decision? Yeah, just how does he fit in with the group? Um, you know, I haven't seen Detroit's lineup yet in terms of what they'll bring, but you know, he, he's already to me kind of passed the first test. He goes out in Montreal and plays head to head against Suzuki or Doc every night or every shift, and, and did a great job there. So that was one uh, test. We didn't play him the other night. It was more so just because he played a ton of hockey for a young guy. So we we gave him that night off, but we want to get him back in, and, and uh, you know, in order to do so, but still keep. You know, our, our group, uh, most of our group together. Um, I mean, Willie out of the middle there. So it's, uh, it's give us a good chance to look at look at the, a group like this. We haven't made final decisions on lineup for tomorrow, but it, it'll look a lot like it did today. Well, it's a combination of things. It's a combination of whether, whether he's ready for us and then whether we're ready for him. You know, so we'll sort through that. But it, while we have games to play, we're going to use them. and and uh, give him an opportunity to continue to, to grow and develop, whether it results in him uh, sticking around this year or just helps him to be closer when he, when he comes back and to set him up for success and, uh, if he were to go back. So, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get that sorted in time. Not a lot of time left, but uh, we want to take advantage of all the reps that we do have, which today was what's in front of us. Any update on uh, John Klingberg? Uh, yeah, I, th I think he... Uh, he may be back on the ice tomorrow. He's, he's, he's close. Third year now that you've been becoming a Greenlander, what makes this area so special? Uh, it's just it's great, a great spot. So we've been really lucky three years in a row we've come here. The weather's been outstanding. Uh, gets us out of the regular routine and you know, not too far to get here. And the facility's been great as well. So it's, uh, it's a good spot. It makes a lot of sense to keep coming back. Did Klingberg come with the group for the off day and the socializing? Oh, yeah, he was here. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. William has said the biggest adjustment at center is just the defensive zone and be even more intense on the, on the systems. Like, what do you want him to, to look at in the defensive zone specifically when as he makes this? Well, play? you got to just you gotta, It's about your low play down, you know, down below the dots, and you got to close quickly and. and Takes more energy, obviously covering more ice to come back and get to that space, and you're covering more ice to get up the ice and get back on offense. So it's just uh, it's harder. It's more there's more effort required. Um, but like we talked about, you know, even when he's played, we have Domi alongside him, and, and uh, you know, Domi's taken on a lot of time down low as well, um, which kind of happens. I mean. If you look at a lot of like a lot of the games, a lot of the centers they're not always playing low, so it's not all the time thing, um, which is why you're a little more open to it for the guy who hasn't played a ton of it. But uh, we think it fits his skill set really well. But as we said from day one at camp, he's always going to play both. He's always going to move around, and uh, you know, in order to open up that spot for Fraser for today, uh, that's what we did. Is Simon Benoit doing what you'd hoped he'd do uh, in yeah. terms of? Establishing himself here? Yeah, I don't know if I'd say he's established himself, but he's made progress. You know, he's missed part of camp, so he's, you know, for a guy coming in and looking to make an impression, is a tough go for him to not be healthy from the start. But uh, I thought he was better in the second game than he was the first, so that's that's progress. And you know, there's uh, there's more time remaining here for us to continue to look at him.